me some darn good digging. Put the treasure on that there wood below the winch. No mortal has ever been able to resist my charms. Excel at so many things, but this is not one of them. That's another. Don't know how y'all holding your breath so long, but I'm mighty impressed. might be a bad time to say, but I broke the winch earlier. Y'all need to find some other way to get that treasure out that river. See anything useful down there? That's what all them folks in that fancy floating city are doing these days? Ha! I got this one! That was mighty kind of you to help a stranger all the same. How about you take that golden nugget over there and return? Least I can do. Finally! I thought I was never gonna get paid.
red wolf. Dang it! What a mess! Darn the wind gusted through here like it runs this town, throwing my plans out of whack. It'll take me days to fix this mess. Think you can crack it? I've wasted hours trying to sort them jumbled up plans. All it got me was a jumbled up brain. So that big purple face in the sky was real? I thought I'd dream of that. By golly, you cracked it! My plans to change the world of travel. The tumble cart. Think about it. Tumbleweeds tumble everywhere, friend. And soon, so shall we. Once Red Wolf has <sighs> been expecting you, Pilgrim. Make room for the spectacular spider ham. These parts are for the switch that only the tumble cart and a few similar existing machines can operate. Use it to open up that there chest. I'll be taking notes. Why, it's more glorious than I ever imagined. Thanks for all your help. As a token of my gratitude, please help yourself to the gold in that chest. And tell all your friends about the tumble cart. All right. Oh. Red Wolf has been expecting you, Pilgrim. shouldn't have come to this place. How was I supposed to know we'd get robbed and locked up by bandits? By the power of the Eye of Agamotto, I command you to cease this madness. Are you here to save us? Finally, I'm so done with this dusty old place. Uh, you don't expect us to go through that portal thing, do you? Uh, no way! That doesn't look safe. You've got to get the door open. Please, you have to let me give you something. Here! You can never have too much of... Uh... Whatever the heck this is. Seriously? This kind of thing would never happen in Nueva York. 
uh, we were both captured by evil villains in at least three different scenarios last week. Duh, I meant before Chronopolis happened. The young Arkindai wandered from his herd. He's very upset. Please help calm the creature. It's all right. We're here to help. Something. Many thanks. <laughs> he enjoyed that. Here, as thanks. I am the Iron Fist. I hold back the storm when nothing else can. Valuable item. I must protect it at all costs. My skills as the living weapon may be needed here. I must protect my people in this strange new world. Mm, a most valuable item. I should take great care.
Thank you for saving your generalissimo, brigadiers. Excelsior! Somebody ought to do something about those pesky gophers, did Welcome! Pull up a chair wherever you like. Pay no mind to that rusty fella on the stage. Engineer's supposed to be coming out to fix him and his buddies, though y'all are welcome to try and beat him to it. Y'all gonna need to get the roof generator running before we can see him playing. If you don't mind taking a look. <laughs> Darn machine, why won't you stay up there? I can't run up to the roof fast enough to use this darn contraption before it slides on back down again. If only I was some kind of super fast superhero. old prospector or ever got his crane working. Sounded like he found some real good loot down in that river. Howdy, folks. Who'd I talk to about getting me one of them metal horseless carriages? <clears throat> Definitely gotten Dusty around here since all them other places showed up. Dust in my hat, dust in my boots, dust in my mouth. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, the circus was in town? Guess that explains all the kooky people I've seen wandering around. Wonder if that bug fella ever managed to tame his funny looking buffalo. So that odds. Wow, we you can move. Thanks, Speedy. Now we can get that metal band working. Big skull in the sky. Huh. Didn't a wise old fella say that that was an ill omen? No. <laughs> that were ducks making eye contact. Since y'all did all the work, you can have the honor of firing these fellas up for the first time. Well, ain't they a spectacle? Reckon my regulars will enjoy this mechanical music. Here, a little something with my regards. Did Rawhide Kid ever find that walking, talking totem? <laughs> that guy is one odd stick. Well, if that ain't the strangest thing I ever seen. Who'd I talk to about getting me one of them metal horses? You us gals I told y'all did y'all turn off them guns in the tunnel we'll never get these sheep past them if you ain't
the surface was in town. The world explains all of the spooky people out there wandering around. Y'all take care of them fancy guns? Then let's skedaddle! Come on, gals! Follow this hero! rescued all my sheep. Uh, hello? Don't interrupt, Clyde. I'm thanking the stranger. Here, why don't you take this as a reward? Reckon the bandits must have dropped it earlier. Finally! I thought I was never gonna get paid. Where in tarnation they go? Here. Y'all ain't seen a herd of wild horses stampede by, did ya? Dust had barely settled after them guardians took off when these Cree varmints from next town over came storming through in their fancy spaceship and scared my herd into the winds. Good horses ain't easy to come by, and they sure as shoot ain't cheap, so I'm mighty interested in getting these ones back. If y'all can spare the time to help me, what do you say, darling? Appreciate it. Y'all know how to ride, right? Soon as you find a horse, just saddle up and ride it on back here to me. Red Wolf has been expecting you, Pilgrim. Oh, the circus wasn't tail? Guess that's why you then ain't my glamorous assistant from before. Thanks again for all your help. Y'all need something? The horses hopefully ain't gone too far, but some might be hiding out of sight. Keep your papers open. That's one. I'll look after him. You hurry on after the others. Somebody ought to do something. Yeehaw! Ride them, cowboy! Oh no! If I don't get a move on, I'm gonna miss a free Tantahala! <laughs> you found another! Much obliged. Walls surrounding King's Tower disappeared. If anyone's looking to go up there and clean his plow, now'd be the time to do it. <laughs> uh, this one looks like he's seen some things. I'm sure he'll feel better after a few sugar cubes. <laughs> That's this futuristic horse food I just discovered. the one more to find now. I'm counting on you. <laughs> so that odd stick and better.
Shock. I can't get a decent signal anywhere here. <laughs> and that's a herd. Come on over so I can thank you properly. Nice to know that there's some good folk around in this strange place. Thanking you kindly for all your help. Now to get these horses tidied up and sold off to the highest bidder. Well, what did you think I was gonna do with this many horses? I'm just one woman, darling. I can't ride them all. But don't y'all worry. I'll make sure they're taken care of and haven't forgotten what I owe you. Y'all can call on Arizona Annie for a favor anytime you like. Now we're talking. Heard they had a chicken outbreak in the saloon the other day. Gave the sheriff a real good pecking, I hear. My hero! in the saddle, then how about a challenge? Howdy. Ever since this whole Chronopolis business started, my horse Banshee and I have been looking to test our skills against riders from all places and times. So far, ain't nobody faced us who put up much of a challenge. But I tell ya, ain't nothing like new terrain of fresh challengers to hone your skills. These concrete roads are tough on old Banshee here, but that just gets them all the more fired up. All's we need now is an opponent. So, you interested in a race? That's the spirit, let's ride! Step on into the magical portal when you're ready to race. Two-gun kid with only one gun. Well, howdy, y'all. Well, Banshee, looks like we done been beaten at our own game. Reckon we got our work cut out for us if we're gonna reclaim our titles as the fastest riders in Chronopolis. In the meantime, it'd be an honor if you'd have us ride alongside you, friend. From here on, consider Phantom Rider to be your biggest fan, Tom. Ha <laughs> ha! Now we're talking! <laughs> Who ever heard of a two-gun kid with only one gun? Look at those rotten. Two-timing, yellow-bellied, good-for-nothing hoodlums took off with my gun. How's a fella supposed to go by the name of Two-Gun Kid when he's only toting one gun? And don't even think about suggesting a name change, partner. I just got my business cards done. Now, 
The only option here is to track down those varmints and get back my gun. Y'all gonna help, right? Oh, the circus was in town? Oh, yeah. I knew you was ready for some action. Let's get at it, partner. Pretty sure I saw them varmints come. That's them crooked pistol pitchers! Get them! <laughs> Looks like none of them had my gun. Reckon there's more of them up ahead. Reach for the sky. Dang it, that would have been so much better if I had both my guns. Another problem, if and you can spare the time. Oh, what the heck? of them dropped my gun. No? Darn it. Well, nothing for it but to keep on keeping on. Oh, these ends are uglier than the last film. One of these bozos definitely has my gun. Wonder how all the folks got left behind are doing. Susie May, Maybe Sue, Jackie Lynn, Moody Joe, Cactus Pete, Toothless Pete, Regular Pete, Little Horseshoe, Darlene, Darlene. Oh boy, we got ourselves a real curly wolf here. my gun. Woohoo! Y'all got my gun back, meaning the two-gun kid is officially back in business. Wonder if the fella I borrowed this name from ever had this kind of trouble. <laughs> oh, heck. I could have just given my business cards to that guy. Well, no point crying over spilt cactus milk. Thanks for your help, partner. You ever have need for my two guns, just holler. Now we're talking. Red Wolf has been expecting you, Pilgrim. You are a friend of the Rawhide Kid, are you not? Red Wolf knows why you are here. The location of the living totem eludes you and the kid, but I sense his presence somewhere in this town, and I know what you must do to learn of his dwelling place.
You must listen to the whispers of the wind, the rumors from the rivers, the murmurings of the mountain. Oh, and the people probably know a few things, too. <laughs> Ask around, and we will surely learn where the totem makes his lair. So there. Then it is settled. Speak with the townsfolk and take heed their words, for in them will lie the path to the totem. You're gonna go buy me a brand new 10 gallon hat, or maybe a 20 gallon. There's a real peculiar type spending most his days at the saloon of late. Tall fella, wears a big coat all the time. Reckon there's only one reason person wear a coat that big. Something to hide. Or because he's cold. So, two reasons, I guess. Huh. Saw someone real strange coming out the sheriff's office the other day. Big face, little arms, little legs, floating chair. Said he was the sheriff now. I tell you, it takes all kinds. <sighs> Somebody ought to do something about those pesky gophers digging up the town. Been hearing some unusual noises at night since all these new places sprouted up. I'll be trying to sleep, and suddenly I'll hear a little voice telling me to fight something called a hexagon. Oof. Wonder if that bug fella ever managed to tame his funny looking buffalo. There's a real weirdo walking around town lately, supposedly looking for some sort of evil fishing pole. Heard he got into some business with them Cree fellas down by the border over a giant head. I mean, I ain't gotta tell you that that ain't regular. Have you learned anything of the totem? <laughs> There's something in the water lately, as I could have sworn I saw this big pole with a face on it walking around the other day. And it gets stranger. Soon as he noticed I'd seen him, he put on this big old coat and scurried off. I wonder where he went to. So far, I've learned nothing from the wind or the mountain. The river said it would... Call me back. So, what knowledge did you bring? I hear they're getting some fancy new modern entertainment over the saloon. If we knew who occupied the large coat, this information could be useful. Hmm. I believe he's referring to Modoc's brief role as the town sheriff, rather than anything regarding the totem. That indeed sounds like the totem. We need only to learn of where he goes. It would appear we have learned enough. The totem has been donning a disguise and spending an inordinate amount of time in the local saloon. Hmm. But to what end? Of course, the answer to this question would most easily be discovered at the saloon itself. I shall reconvene with Rawhide Kid and the two of us will pursue the totem, but of course, I must first thank you for all your help. I bet someone will pay a high price for this. You must be getting a reputation in the Old West. One of the big guns has just walked into town. Something tells me that story doesn't end here. Let's wrap this saga up in a Gwenpool mission. You have done much for Rawhide and myself. As soon as he returns, the two of us will go after the totem.
again. Goodness, what a lovely day. Heard you've been making a name for yourself in this town. Well, let's see how tough you really are. Oh, man. Feeling lucky, punk. Reach for the sky. Lucky shot! Take your best shot! I'm alive again! Let's go! Ah! Last feeling lucky, punk! I'm alive! You regret that! Let's make this a fair fight! Get him! Take your best shot! Reach for the sky! Lucky shot! Feeling lucky, punk. Ah, blast you. I'm alive again. Let's go. You regret that. Fellas, if you lucky shot, reach for the sky. Take your best shot! Ah! Blast you! You regret that! Lucky show! Oh, guess I shouldn't have put a target on my head. <laughs>